Lapras is joining Pokemon Unite very, very soon, and I will have a ton of gameplays of it. But first, here's everything you must know about Lapras, the newest defender joining Pokemon Unite. We're gonna go through its moves, builds, emblems, and some hidden mechanics that they did not write down. Hi trainers, I'm Tees, this is Nuts. Feel free to subscribe to the bell to be notified for more Pokemon Unite guides, gameplays, funny moments, and so much more. So for Lapras's basic attack, it becomes a boosted attack every third attack. This launches a blast of water, deals damage to them, and it also heals you. This boosted basic attack does go through targets, so you can hit multiple things like you see here. Really cool, has a piercing effect. And you also can see the heal as well. Do you see how much it's healing me for? It's really nice. For its passive, it's called Shell Armor. If the Pokemon takes damage from a single attack that exceeds a set percentage of its max health, that damage will be reduced. So it's just like a passive that helps you take even more. For its first move, it is Whirlpool. So this move has a seven second cooldown. It is a damaging move. It's a big area damage move. It deals tick damage. The interesting thing here is that if I go close to the dummy, you can see that it ticks slower. But if I do it on like the outer circle, it's so much faster, so it has a higher damage output if you have the enemy on the outer circle, which makes it great for when you're chasing enemies down. However, if you are the dummy, if you are the opponent that's going against a Lapras and you can't get away from it, it might be better to go towards Lapras to buy yourself some time to wait for some allies to help you or something like that. So I would recommend going close to Lapras if you can take the damage, just because you might die faster on the outsides if you have no escape. The next starting move we have is Ice Shard. So this move has a long tail. 10 second cooldown, but it's really, really cool as well. It shoots ice and it deals damage and it also freezes them for a short time. But if they're already frozen, it just shoves them instead. But you have some crowd control in that. You have damage. It's really cool. At level five, you get to choose between one of these two moves, Perish Song and Water Pulse. Let's go with Water Pulse first. So Water Pulse has a short four second cooldown. This move is really interesting because it actually stacks. So you can see on the bottom here, you can see that I have a number two there because it stacks. For each Pokemon hit by a pulse of this move, you get an additional pulse. Lapras releases more water pulses up to an additional two times, but when it's upgraded, it is three times. It doesn't matter if it's on an enemy Pokemon or a wild Pokemon, it will stack. The first water pulse, however, what's really important is that the first water pulse does more damage, and then the second one, third one does less. So you can see here, it does more and then less and less. I think it's probably half. If you want to keep this water pulse stack, you do have to always hit them with your first one. So you can see here, if I keep hitting it with my first one, you can see that the stack actually resets and it goes back to the top. But if I go over here and then I use this and then I move in, it doesn't. Can you see how it just stays the same? It doesn't reset your stack so you can't like keep your water pulse up. So you want to make sure you hit them with your first one to always have it keep resetting. The really cool thing as well is that after your first pulse, you get a boosted basic attack. So you do this and then you do this. You get a boosted basic attack, gives you health. I really like the healing on this. And this move also decreases the enemy's movement speed. Okay, so the next one we have is Perish Song. It's a 7.5 second cooldown. This is a damage area move. So this move can be used three times consecutively as you can see here. So you can activate this move three times, but the really important thing here as well is that if you do it on the same target three times, you will deal extra damage to that target. So if I do this three times on the dummy on the same target, you'll have an extra pop at the end. So one, two, three, and you'll see a little extra pop of damage there. It is a good burst of damage, so you want to try and do it on the same target. However, if you use this move on a enemy Pokemon, they will have an execute threshold as well. So if I use it on this Gudra here, you can see that there's a little bar thing that appears on its health. And now if I can get it down to there with the Perish Song, I can execute it. So the execution only happens with Perish Song. When I use Perish Song, this little bar pops up on the health bar. That's pretty much where you have to get it down to to do the execute. So when I get Gudra down there, and then you'll see here, when I use Perish Song again, it will be executed. When this move is upgraded, the next basic attack becomes boosted after using this move. It kind of sucks to not have the boosted attack early like Water Pulse because I think the heal is really going to help Lapras. However, unlike Water Pulse, when upgraded, you do not have to hit an enemy to get that boosted basic attack. You can just use Perish Song and then get that boosted basic attack right away. So I want to see if it does that every time you use Perish Song. So let's see. So use Perish Song, boosted basic attack, use it again. Boosted basic attack, use it again. Boosted basic attack. You get a boosted basic attack every time you use Perish Song. That is so insane. You could like stay alive 
really well with Lapras just by doing this petal with focus band especially. It's pretty crazy. So at level seven, you'll have the choices between Bubble Beam and Ice Beam. First, we'll go through Bubble Beam. So Bubble Beam has a seven second cooldown, range damage, and is a crowd control move. It grants you a shield and sprays bubbles dealing damage. So it's really interesting how this works. So I'm going to use it on the dummy here. It stuns the dummy initially as well. And then you have these little floating bubbles that come out of it too. So I'm going to use it again. And you see these little floating bubbles. This will actually stun any enemies that are hit by these floating bubbles as well. And this move does also go through Pokemon too. So you can actually hit multiple Pokemon with this move. When you use this move, the cool thing is, is that enemies will have to try and dodge that as well. They don't want to get hit by those bubbles and get stunned. You don't even have to use it on a target to do that. You can also just do this and the little bubbles still come out and they will get stunned if they get hit by these bubbles. And I'll show you the little shield that you get around Lapras as well. When you upgrade this move, you get a stronger shield. So I'm going to use it here and then you see this bubble around me. That is my shield. I now I have a little shield around me, which is really cool. And you can see here, I also... I actually initially stun all the enemies that are hit by my bubble beam. That is so sick. You can stun so many at one time. The other move you get is Ice Beam. So Ice Beam has an eight second cooldown. It's a ranged crowd control damage move and it is really, really cool. So it fires an Ice Beam dealing damage. It also increases your movement speed as well. So here's me running without Ice Beam. Then when I use it, I'm a little bit faster. It freezes the ground too, and any enemy standing in this will take damage. So if I put this on the dummy, it will also decrease their movement speed and it will freeze them if they stay in it long enough. So on the dummy, you can see that the dummy gets frozen and it takes continuous damage. So if any enemy is in this ice beam area as well, they will just take damage and long enough they will freeze. I think about after two ticks, two or three ticks you get frozen and when you're on this frozen ground you run faster when upgraded it increases the time enemies are frozen so it's a really neat move definitely creates a zone where enemies have to watch out for for sure and then we have lapras's unite move the lapras express now look at this you can literally just run around for as long as you have that unite move cooldown thing on and it also doesn't slow you in this area in the speed flux zones you can actually keep using Using this because you're unstoppable it's pretty sick you run faster the whole time but if you hit an obstacle you get super slow so you can see here that i'm just slowing down and if you hit a wild pokemon you do do damage to them but you can't hit them twice with it so if i try to hit it again it doesn't do damage to the wild pokemon however if you hit an enemy you will just stop so it won't just go through them see here it just takes a unite move and you just stop so if you don't want to stop, try to avoid the enemies. But you can also end it early as well to do a little wave. Try to do it on this Gudra. There you go. And it stuns them or like knocks them up basically. But yeah, really cool. You do damage, but you can't do damage to the targets twice on the wild Pokemon. So as you can see here, when I go through them again, I'm not doing any damage to them. You also can take allies with you on the ride. Unfortunately, I cannot show you that because I don't have any friends. However... They can dismount whenever they like, so it can't be like super trolly. Okay, so now for the builds and the emblems. For an early build, I'm thinking Focus Band and Shell Bell for even more sustain and the cooldown reduction with Slick Spoon for the damage and HP. I think sustain and damage with this Pokemon so far is important since Lapras can really tank a ton and deal a lot of damage during the PTS. Don't know how it'll be in the live client, but during the PTS, I found that this build worked pretty well. And for the emblems, for an aggressive build, you could go seven blacks for cooldown reduction and six greens for special attack damage. If you want to have a ton of damage output, you want to get your moves back up real quick, or you can go six greens and six whites for special attack and damage. If you want more of like a damage survivability build. That's all for this pre-live guide. Thank you so much for watching. Train us in the comments down below if there's anything you found with Lapras. Are you gonna grab Lapras? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. So don't be to be notified for more videos and I'll catch you up with the next one. Bye.